Hi, I'm Richard from the Bankeen. Uh, I'm Tom from the Bankeen, and we're backstage at the lovely V Festival in Chelmsford. One of the most exciting things about kind of the dream of being in a band is, um, well, certainly for us, was the the idea of uh, of going to America um, and getting on one of those big old chrome-plated tour buses and and traveling from city to city and and getting to see the country that way because people talk about road trips to America and um, I guess it's something that very few people especially from Britain never get to do so um, I remember the first time we went there back in what 03 or 04 or something and just traveling across the the country and uh, seeing all these incredible landscapes that change you know from uh, from state to state um, you know go flying past us out the window and, and then stopping in all these incredible cities um, it's, it's the only way to travel in America don't get on a plane it's it's horrible <laughs> I take the train all the time I mean I whenever I I, I live um, a couple of hours from London and I'd much rather take the train there um, and I always even if you know even if I'm on my own I like just sitting there watching the world go by and the other great thing about it is you can actually get stuff done you know <laughs> you're not you're not busy driving and stuck in traffic or anything, anything like that and you know I just I guess it's logical, you know, the, the more that people travel on tran public transport, the better it will get. The, you know, I guess it's one of those things that will be um, a, a good cycle uh, for, for people to get into and there will be more investment in it and so forth. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of it personally. Yeah, we, uh, when we were making our uh, most recent record, we made it in Paris and Berlin and we got the train to both. So we got the Eurostar to Paris and uh, to get to Berlin, you can get an overnight train. So you get the Eurostar to Brussels and then you go and have a beer in a bar and then you get on another train and it goes overnight to Berlin. It ends up going in to Moscow, I think. It's, yeah. It sounds really magical. But anyway, so this bar this this train has a bar on it and so you just uh you end up sitting there and chatting and it's like just going out to the pub except you're on this train and you you kind of have a few beers and then you fall asleep in your bunk and then you wake up and you're in berlin and it was the most amazing thing it was one of the most enjoyable things about making the record because you felt like it was like going on holiday or like being in a, a gang, you know, just getting away and it's like almost like running away from home or something and just, you know, suddenly you're in Berlin in this magical city and you get to see all these amazing landscapes as you go. I mean, we felt that, like, Berlin's a long way away and you shouldn't get there in an hour, you know. You, it should take time to get there and you should experience the journey and, you know, you get to people watch and you get to just sort of, you know, chew the fat in a way that you can't do on a plane, you know. It's, it's just too stressful and too impersonal and, I don't know, uh, we just had a great time doing that. Plus, as always, the risk of... Uh some security guards sticking their finger up your bum if you go on a on a plane. Yeah, it's, which I think is quite kind of an invasive thought. You know, well, it is an invasive thing. I mean, it's like you know, you have to go through that horrible process of someone looking through all your stuff, and you know, then the prospect you know that you could uh, could end up in a in a booth somewhere with with some very hairy German man, you know, going through your pants. So, I mean, why wouldn't you get on a train instead?